Welcome to Electro Online. Now let's try to factor some of these expressions. And it's kind of like the opposite direction of multiplying or the opposite direction of using the distributive property. So what we need to do in each binomial is see what is common. Sometimes it's the factor in front of the radical, sometimes it's the radical itself. So in this case, notice we have a 12 and then minus 3 times the square root of 5. So in this case, you can see that 3 is the common factor in both. We can factor it out. So this is equal to 3 times 4 minus the square root of 5. So there, we simply factor out the number 3. If you want to make sure you did it correctly, then multiply it back in. 3 times 4 is 12, and 3 times the negative square root of 5 is negative 3 times the square root of 5. Over here, notice that 7 is common, and so is the x. So here we can go ahead and factor out the 7 times x, which leaves us with 1 minus 3 times the square root of x. And again, to make sure that we did it correctly, Notice we multiply this back, so 7x times 1 gives us 7x, and 7x times a minus 3 times the square root of x gives us minus 21x times the square root of x, which is what we have, so it looks good. Over here, we probably need to do something to this first before we realize what we can factor out. So notice that this can be written as x squared times the square root of x minus the square root of x to the sixth times x to the first. We don't have to write to the first. But notice when you multiply these out, you add exponents, you get 7 back, so we're good. Now here we notice that the square root of x to the sixth is the same as x cubed. So this can be written as x squared times the square root of x minus x cubed times the square root of x. And now we're ready to factor. We can factor the square root of x out of each term, but we can also squack, squ factor out x squared. Wow, those are quite some tongue twisters. But anyway, here we go. So we take x squared times the square root of x, and let's see what we have left. In this case, it will be 1 minus here we're left with an x. Just to make sure we did it correctly, 1 times x squared times the square root of x gives us this, and minus x times this gives us minus x cubed times the square root of x. So it looks like that's the right thing. And so this is how we factor, basically the opposite of multiplying things out. And that is how it's done.